2007 and masters in 2009 from Mohai University. He has done his doctoral research jointly in Mohai University with University of Arizona and completed his PhD in 2014. He is currently professor in School of Civil Engineering, Chongqing University, China. His research interests include constitutive modeling, mechanics of rock film materials. He is also developing his expertise on basic properties of granular soils. He is a principal investigator of project entitled Critical State Behaviors and Bounding Surface Model of Rock Film Material Considering Particle Breakage, funded by National Natural Science Foundation of India. He has achieved first prize for science and technology progress from Chinese Society for Rock Mechanics and Engineering in 2014. He is also recipient of excellent doctoral dissertation award from Chinese Society for Rock Mechanics and Engineering an excellent doctoral dissertation award from Jiangsu province in 2015. With a round of applause, please invite Professor Yang Ziao. Good morning, oh. gentlemen and ladies. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my speaking is not good. I'm sorry. Because uh, uh, today is my, uh, this is uh, our first uh, presentation you uh, using English. Uh, it's my great honor to be here to do my presentation. And uh, firstly, I would uh, uh, sincerely appreciate the great help from uh, Professor Prachan and Professor Su Chen and the uh, warm invitation from the Professor Desai and Professor Zeman. Uh, today, I will talk in something about the new technology in geotechnology and years. Uh, my topic is uh, multiple scale tensing and DAC based modeling for bound similar sense. Our final section, the first section is uh, we introduce some basic uh, bank one of the MRCP. Uh, Macro reduced the uh, cow side precipitation is a uh, novel and uh, promising environmental friendly technologies using in geotechnical engine for forming the sand grids. In this technology, uh, the UA is uh, hydrolyzed into the carbon ions, and the car side preservation will be introduced reduced, uh, in the samples and the sand contents. I think uh, the precipitation in the sand contents is mostly important because it's the effective way for bonding the sand grains. And this slide is showing some of the basic, the present study from the world. Uh, most is the focus on the animal scale testing. Um, for example, Professor Dijun and Professor Mataria from the UC Davis. And uh, Professor Edward. Uh, Professor Edward is, uh, is the center of the uh, MRCP in the USA, in the Phoenix. And uh, Professor Soka, he now moves from the Cambridge University, UK to the uh, uh, University of Berkeley. And uh, Professor Tu is now working at the ATU. So, uh, Professor Van Parson is now working uh, at the MRC Center in the Phoenix of the USA. Over this slide, I show the present study from the CPU Chongqing University. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a full scale. The macro scale is uh, now is the students, uh, Mr. Ma and Mr. He, is now focusing on the macro fluid test. And uh, animal scale testing, the Mr. Liu and Mr. Xiao and Mr. Jiang now focus on this uh, animal scale testing. A model testing and uh, it's uh, produced by uh, the Mr. Xiao and uh, we have also some students doing the field testing. Now the leader is uh, 
Professor Liu, he is uh, now the vice president of CPU. And also we have uh, a co-leader from the Oakland, Professor Zama. And uh, I'm the director of the MRCB Center in CQU. Here's uh, our MRCB lab in the CQU. And uh, uh, the top is uh, Mr. Xiao He is now studying the university book, uh, university text. And uh, below this, the students, uh, Mr. Wang is now attending the conference. The second element, the second uh, is the element testing of the MRCP. Now we will introduce to you the two ways for the prepared the MRCP specimen. The first way is using the bacteria solution and the similar solution separately. We first pour the bacteria solution into the specimen and make sure that the bacteria could be adhere to the uh, sun surface. And the next step, we will pour the solution, uh, CS, similar solution to the sand, and make sure that at this time, the bio and chemical reaction will be uh, acting in this process. After about five hours later, we can remove the PVC pipe. And the second method is uh, we mix the CS and BS together and uh, at a very lower temperature, that will make the specimen more uniformly bonding. And uh, below these uh, fingers, the fourth specimen is, using, is used to use the second method. Uh, we want to test the strength of the biosimal cell. For example, the uncombined complete strength and the split tensile strength. We can clearly from these fingers, the left the fingers, then the UCX can increase greatly with the solution, the BS solution and CS solution. Then this is the calcite red, yes. The right, you see the failure, the just failure ability. We can see that the cohesion would increase greatly so this increases the calcite red. And we have published our this research in the Canadian Geotechnical Journal. We know that as a biosimulation, we exhibit some uh, bitterness with uh, increasing the calcite uh, content. This is not good. So we want to increase some uh, ductility with the biosimulation. How we do that? We are using the biocide fiber. It's something like uh, minerals of the fiber. We can see that in this fiber addition, we will find the addition of the parcel is increasing. This is very important. And this uh, good picture shows that uh, is right here, the right here, we can see that the crystal, the calcite crystal are addition to the calcite fiber surface. This is we will produce some the interlocking effect and the reinforcing effect. This is important, making the ductility increase. This is some uh, triangular casing of the bathroom set. We can clearly see that from the right fingers that uh, for us the same compound pressure with increasing the calcite content. The strength softening and um, volume dilation becomes more obvious. This is uh, uh, due to the shape of the, the dilation of the parsimonious cell. And we will see that the peak state students at the higher confined pressure will increase, greatly with increase the parsimonious content. And for the rest of the that's very slowly and will keep almost constant. This is the, our medicine has been under review in the, in the National Geo Tanks, and uh, will be come back to us this morning. Yes. And we have also performed some sort of dynamic tests on the Barcelona set. Yes, this, uh, we can right, this is on the right fingers. The surface stress ratio increased greatly with the uh, calcite. 
with the Porn 6 MS uh, CS solutions. We have published this uh, two manuscripts in the Canadian Theoretical Journal and Cell Dynamic Aspect and Engineer. And the second section is the macro fluid test on MRCP. This is uh, uh, hand done by the Mr. He. You see that if we want to know how the calcite produce in this uh, macro MRCP process. We use this uh, macro fluid disk test. This can clear to the green uh, slide supposed to see then the uh, green slide is denotes the bacteria. You can see that the bacteria is moving around the same surface and uh, that will produce the calcite. This is the first one in the world in our research group to do this uh, job. We can see from the left end of the fingers, at the beginning there is no obvious calcite dose. And uh, after half hours, we see that uh, is, uh, is behind, the left behind, there is something the calcite. And uh, after five hours later, we see there is more obvious duck. Duck, yes, this duck means that the calcite is growing larger and larger amongst uh, the whole space of the sand and uh, the sand context, yes. So we, uh, we put a question how to predict the growth of calcite. Uh, we use the DSA framework. And uh, we also introduce up the field test of the MRCP. Uh, this is where we are in the IIT and we have a few tests, two field tests. In the, the first few site is in the southeast of China, and the second few site is in the northeast of China. Both these uh, field condition is uh, crucial. You mean, I mean that uh, the condition is very hard for the bacteria. If this, uh, the testing, the field testing is success, that means it is Technology can be used in other places. Here is the first field test. Uh, it can be used for slope, it can be used for embankment, and it can be also be used for the road. And the first finger is uh, we are uh, used for the slope. We first spray the bacteria solution in the in the slope surface, and then make sure that the bacteria sprayed uh, uniformly on the surface. And then the second way, we spray the solution, the similar solution, and then make sure that the similar solution can last a long time. And the way comes down to this is an effective way. And the right way is uh, useful for the embankments. We have pure as a bacteria and the specifically pure as a similar solutions. And uh, we can find that this Technology can produce a very higher and strength the root or the backbone. Under the second field testing, we use this technology to prevent the one erosion of the desert. And this test is also successful. We will find that in the same way, spray the CS and the BS for the desert, we find it's very good. We have prepared this menu with this with uh, Professor Zama, and then it's uh, on the way, so we, we will submit in the about the next month, I think. Um, here is the summary of the publication at CQU. Um, three publications from the Canadian Geotechnical Journal and uh, some others, including. Okay. So the last. Uh, we will introduce some of the PSA models on the Barcelona Center. Uh, the third step can say PSA is uh, founded by Professor C.S. Desai. It is uh, my co author. It is a unique framework for models uh, venture and the debugging of the structure clean or the signal set or concrete beams, logs, or something like a particle bit to uh, bring. Uh, like the rock field materials are 
Dogs like plus or something like sin. Okay. It can also multiple for the interface. It's a uni, uh, unified framework. So the basis was uh, in the DAC, we need to find how what is the relative intensity, uh, relative intense state and for the adjusted state. And the next step, we need to find the distributed function that could be mix the two states together. Here are the two pictures for showing how we use the DAC models. The first, we want to use the DAC to model the calcite groups in the, in the bonding process. I mean, in the MRC process. And the second, we want to use DAC to produce the stress strategy relationship on the chain. That means this uh, calcite or the, the bonding stress will be breakage on the chain. This is the second uh, process, means that's the debonding process. Here, we give a report, there's a, a, a manuscript to the, in, uh, it's a simple thing, here. We define the, the ready intact state as the zero line. What means the zero line? This means that the count side can be zero. This is then no MRCP action. And we define the fully adjusted as the state where the calcite from MSB fill all the world space you know, the, among the same. So we got the digital uh, function here. And then we prepare the manuscript to the RSMAG symposium here. And we next the step we will do some modeling, uh, constant modeling. And we need to first step to, de to define the bonus of S in incorporating the biosimum. And the next step, we need to find the DSA function to describe uh, the deploying process. This is important. And we need to use this uh, DSA function to link and um, to find the evolution between the yearly surface and the bonding surface. And the next step, we could use this the model just to describe the student softening and the dilation behavior. Uh, our specialist uh, professor Desai has given a chance to visit uh, him in the 2011 in the University of Arizona in the Tucson. And uh, he visited us back in 2014 in Chongqing University of China. I met him in 2017 in the Philippines ISA meeting in Wuhan, China. And a special thanks to the professor Zama, he visited us uh, last year from uh, London. And I have many friends uh, from the U.S. These two professors, uh, the Army and the man, he come from the same university, same college, uh, Overstead University. We are working together for a long time. We have published many together together. And these are our big family in the CQU. The center is uh, the Professor Liu. It's the Professor Liu. He is the vice president of the Chongqing University. And we have big family, we are about uh, nearly 100 uh, persons here. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>